Hi my beautiful Librans, it is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, this reading is for Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and Libra Rising. Before we get started, I would like to give you a couple updates. If you would like a reading from me, please go to www.psychicsoundsbyb.com and purchase a reading there. When you purchase the reading, you will need to send me an email. You can send me an email at psychicsoundsbyb at gmail.com. Please send me three dates, and I, at least with those three dates, can give you uh, which ones are available. The reason I do this is because my schedule fills up quite quickly. When I go on my next hiatus, which is in November, I will be instituting a program or a software program that will allow you to schedule and purchase at the same time. Uh, however, at the present time, I have had very little time to be able to devote to that. So I just wanted to make sure that you guys were aware of that. If you do purchase a reading from me, you will not hear from me until the 1st of July. Okay, And I will not schedule readings prior to the 6th of July. All right. Thank you so much for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I truly do appreciate it. For those of you that have decided to support my channel, I appreciate that as well. So let's go ahead and let's get started on your astrological alignments. Now, I'm only focusing on the internal planets, the faster planets, and um, I will be mentioning Chiron, which is an asteroid, and also Uranus, even though it's an outer planet. There are some changes that you do need to be aware of. All right, Librans. Okay, let's get started. The sun is in your 10th house of career status. So there is something that you are focusing on as it relates to your career or your status. You have a lot of focus on it and everybody else has a lot of focus on it. You might be considering a career change. Okay, you might be... Um, adding to your repertoire of um, things that you do for your career. Okay, so just be aware of that. This is also about status. So there's something about your status that is also in focus at the present time. It could be your single status or your married status. You may want to stay single. You may want to stay married. You may not want to stay married or you may not want to stay single. So just be aware that this is where this energy is at for you. Mars is finally direct. Hooray! Okay, so regarding the money you make from the company you own, the money you make from the business that you work for, um, your self-value, with Mars having been retrograde, there was a lot of stops and starts and complications and thinking you're going one way, but then you got to turn and go another way. When Mars goes direct here, in your second house, things start moving forward with passion and in some cases with aggression. So you want to make sure that you're not overly aggressive, but you are diligent with your passion moving forward so it doesn't bleed into an aggressive type of nature. Okay, so just be aware of that. As it relates to the money you make from the company you work for, the money you make from the business you own, or your self-value. Mercury is direct and it is going from your 10th house to your 11th house. So there's communication about your status and your career and then it goes into your 11th house of hopes, wishes, dreams, goals, networks, associations. There could be a dream, there could be a hope that comes to fruition and you are talking about it and so are other people. Okay, so this could be what's going on here for you when Mercury is in your 11th house. You could also have communications regarding your networks, your associations, and your friendships. Venus is doing the same thing. She's going from your 10th house to your 11th house. So when she's in your 10th house, status, career. There's small financial gain. There's blessings. There's love, harmony. You can receive, okay? Um, you might be receiving communication regarding your career or your status. You could be receiving love, kindness, and compassion in this area of your life. Also, in your 11th house, with Venus in your 11th house, you could have amorous feelings for a friend, okay? And you are now receiving these communications. You are receiving from this person. Um, this could also be 
hopes, wishes, dreams, goals that you are now getting financial uh, return on your investment. We have Chiron going retrograde on the 27th. Now Chiron is in Pisces. When you have a planet and asteroid in the sign that it's residing, it reflects energies of that sign or that person. So you may have a Pisces in your life that needs healing, okay, that is providing healing for you, okay. Um, it's in your sixth house of everyday duties, your reputation in the world, okay, your health. So in this area of your life, there is a wound, and, and Chiron is the wounded healer. Chiron transits Pisces for eight years, okay, because the elliptical is really weird. It's like it spends 18 months in Virgo, but it spends eight years in Pisces. So when Chiron goes retrograde, this healing, this wounding, this whatever it is, is going internal. So once it goes internal, you are going to be able to identify the wound and you are going to be able to address it so that it doesn't affect you moving forward. It's very important for you to do this. Now, if you were born between 1960 and 1968, you are going through a Chiron return. In this particular area of your life, being in Pisces, you could have healing associated with a Pisces. You may need to heal a relationship with a Pisces. You may need to, um, a Pisces may be healing you from an old wound, okay? Um, sacrifice, unconditional love, healing, psychic abilities, visionary, okay? These are areas of your life, if you were born between 1960 and 1968, that you must address and you must heal it once and for all. Now, if when you turn 50, you brought in this kicking and screaming and I'm not gonna change and, and you know, my wounds can just be put to the side and I'm not gonna deal with them, Chiron is going to make it very clear to you that that cannot be done that way. If you came into the age of 50 um, at this time, then what's happening here is if you were aware if you've been working on healing your wounds, if you've been trying to create the connection between the mind, the body, and the spirit, this Chiron return will be significant for you to heal whatever it is you need to heal. And once you do that, you will move forward stronger and happier. The new moon, I believe, is on the 4th. I didn't put the dates down here, but you guys can look up the dates of the new moon and the full moon. The new moon uh, for you is in your 10th house of career and status. So set your intentions for what you want, not for what you don't want on this day. And again, I believe it's on the 4th. The full moon is happening in your 4th house. So there is something culminating, ending, or climaxing as it relates to your physical home. Okay? So right around the end of July, you are going to potentially be finishing a project on the home. You are going to have something culminate as it relates to who you are at a core level. Okay, how you were brought up, your ancestry, your heritage. Okay, something is climaxing, ending, or coming to fruition as it relates to this area of your life. And a Capricorn may have something to do with this. Okay. Now, uh, Capricorn also rules the 10th house. So there might be something um, beginning and ending with a Capricorn at the same time. So I don't know how this is playing out for all of you out there, but it's just energy that you need to be aware of. Um, on the 30th of this month, we have Uranus going retrograde. Now, wherever Uranus is in your chart, and I will, I will put all of that down in the August reading. Okay, but for right now, if you have had unexpected developments coming at you when Uranus goes retrograde in this particular area of your solar chart, you are going to have these unpredictable events happening within you. So on the 30th, everybody is going through a massive sea change on how it is that they believe they deserve to be treated. So in this particular area of your life, you are going to want to make sure 
that you have a solid footing on how it is you expect to be treated in this area of your life, people may be looking at you and saying, well, you've never reacted that way before. You've never responded that way before. Everybody's going to be doing this. It's not just you. So in this particular area, you are going to change unexpectedly. Okay? Say that you're a Libra and out there. This is just an example. Right now, I, I don't know where this is in your solar chart. But this is just an example of how someone can change internally. Say, for example, you're a Libra and you're a player. Okay? And, and you like to play the field a lot. And you don't want to commit. Well, when this happens, when Chiron goes retrograde, you are really going to start thinking, you know what? I want love. I want somebody in my life. I want to make that commitment. Okay? So if you're a Libra out there, that's, that's you know, their friend, your friends are like, that, that, that dude or that girl's never going to get married because they don't want to get married. And then just one day out of the blue, you're going to be like, yeah, I do. Okay? And it's just going to blow them away. Now, granted, that's just an example. And depending upon where it is in your chart, in your solar chart, that's the area that's going to be changing within you. Okay? All right. So let's go ahead and let's get started on your tarot reading, Librans. So what do we got for the Librans for general energies for the month of July of 2016? Librans, general energies, Librans. Here's your general energy. What do we have going on for your work life and financial life, Librans? Work life and financial life. Work life and financial life. What do we have going on with your emotional life and love life, Librans? Emotional life and love life. Emotional life and love life. What do we have going on for your general health? General health for Librans. General health. Whoops, no. General health. Okay. So what do we have going on for your spiritual advice? Spiritual advice for Librans. Here's your spiritual advice. What do we have going on for your challenge? There's your challenge. What is your Archangel Guidance, Librans? Here's your Archangel Guidance. Okay. So, what are the general energies for the Librans out there for July of 2016? You have the Three of Cups. You're celebrating something. There's something that's coming to, you know, fruition for you. You have solace. You have support systems. You have friends. You, you are going out and you are celebrating. You are going out and you are um, potentially, for some of you, you're celebrating a graduation. You're celebrating um, the culmination of something. You're celebrating uh, the fruits of your labor. So this is really beautiful. Okay, the Three of Cups uh, brings just joy and happiness. And, you know, for the female Librans out there, you're, you're going out with the girls. That's for sure. For the male Librans out there, you might have a lot of girls that are friends around you. So this is, um, this is, this is significant. Okay, you, you just, you want to go out, have a good time, let go of anything that's bothering you, and just be yourself. Okay, um, there might be somebody around you that might be drinking a bit too much. They might be really getting into the wine bottle or something like that. So just be aware that there could be um, some people around you that might be, um, I don't want to say that they're alcoholics, but they, they definitely don't, don't spare a bottle of wine. Okay, so, so just be aware of that. So what do we have going on? for your uh, financial and work life. You have the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is um, you are putting a lot of work into work. You are working, you know, potentially you are working on your home. You are seeing something come to fruition. Okay, this could be a renovation project. You might be celebrating a kitchen reno or something like that. 
Um, you might be throwing a party after you, you renovate your home. Um, but you're waiting for that return on investment. So there's something that you've invested in and you can't harvest it just yet, but you will be able to because you have put in the effort for something to come to fruition as it relates to your finances, as it relates to your work, okay? For some of you out there, you're waiting to hear back on a job. It looks good and it potentially you're gonna be celebrating a job well done and get the job, but for some reason there's just a little bit of a delay, there's a little bit of reviewing all of the CVs and reviewing all the resumes that are there. So just don't worry, just just work with it. You know, what I'm hearing is that the business is very particular about the person that they bring in for this particular position. So they're making sure that they can get their return on investment from you. So you definitely want to sell your productivity. You want to sell yourself as someone who can get the job done, someone that can finish projects. So this is going to be very, very important for you. For others of you, as it relates to investments, um, maybe you're retired, maybe you're not retired, but you're looking at your bank account and you're going, yeah, this is working out. This, this is happening now. I'm, I'm not doing too shabby here. So that's awesome. Um, for those of you in school, in college or whatever, uh, you've put in for the classes that you want. And um, for some of you, you may have been put on a wait list. You might have been put on a wait list for classes or you might have been put on a wait list for um, enrollment or acceptance into a specific um, university or college but it does look like there is celebration around you so it, it it does look promising so so this is this is really awesome Librans keep up the good work some of you might be um, you might work the land okay there might be you might be getting um, land where you've got like you know a garden or you've got you live off of the land okay for for some reason that's coming up okay so what do we have going on for your emotional life and love life for your emotional life and love life you have the six of pentacles this is very nice okay because what you're doing is you're creating equivalent exchange okay you are creating an environment where, for example, on a very mundane level, you send a text, you get a text back. You send another text, you get a text back. Okay, you don't want to, um, you don't want to tip the scales one way or the other. You've got to be really fair in everything that you're doing. So as it relates to um, love life and emotional life, you are looking, if you are single, you are looking for someone who is going to be very balanced, who is going to give as much as they take, um, and you are going to do the same thing. You want equivalent exchange in your relationships. If you are in a loving and happy bond, whether you're married, whether you're just dating, whatever it is, and you are in a committed exclusive bond, you are finally finally getting to the point where you are both bringing money into the relationship and this is something you've waited a very long time for and there is celebration here because now with a more uh, stable financial ground you are creating a stable relationship For some of you that are married and have children, you that have children that are graduating, you are providing some sort of assistance to your child for, uh, for college. The thing about it is, is that you are questioning whether or not the investment is worth it. 
And the thing about it is, what the suggestion here is, is basically you're worried that your, your child is going to go to the university and just party. Okay, what you're doing here is you're saying, okay, you got to work part-time. I'm going to give you so much. I'm not going to pay for the whole thing. And you've got to show me your grades because... You want to go out and you want to have a good time with your friends? I understand, been there, done that. But you have to have responsibility. And I'm not just going to give you a free ride, okay? But I will help you, all right? So that could be how that's transpiring for some of you. So what do we have going on for, uh, and for others of you as it relates to family? You might be paying something to family. You might be paying somebody for some work that they did for you, okay? Um, and it was well worth it because it looks like you're celebrating it, whatever it is. Okay, so what about your general health? Your general health is the page of wands. So as it relates to your general health, you have a Sagittarian, an Aries, or a Leo person in your life at the present time that is creating energy around you that is affecting your health. This could be the person that you are dating or this could be the person that you're married to. Um, you may have considered or this person may have asked you, hey, let's start working out together. Let's start doing stuff together. Let's start, um, let's start looking at how we can make our lives better. Uh, let's cut down on the drinking. You know, let's, let's start being a little bit healthier in our lifestyle. And this Sag Leo or Aries is a significant contributor to your health. They might be, because of the balance, because both of you are bringing in money now, it might, their attitude might change and their uh, perception of the situation might get brighter and might be a little bit more supportive through creative endeavors, through passion, okay? You might be getting more activity, which is good. And because you're getting that, you know, bedroom activity, and because you're getting that, it's helping your health. Because you're, because of the equivalent exchange now, you are more satisfied with your body, and because you're more satisfied with your body, everything else just aligns and falls into place. So what do we have going on for your general advice, spiritual advice? purification. For some of you Librans out there, you are going through like a detox program or something like that. For others of you out there, you are trying to purify your surroundings. You're trying to put a new spin on your surroundings so it lifts your mood. You're, you're purifying your surroundings. You're getting rid of the old and the dingy and you don't want to deal with it anymore. You want something new. You want something bright. You want something different. Okay, so this could definitely uh, be affecting you and you are to move forward with this as your spiritual advice. So what's your challenge? Sorry. Your challenge is self-discipline. So for some of you out there, you need to be just, a, since you've got two pentacle cards and uh, a fire card and a cup card, You've really got to find the balance in your relationships, at work, um, your private life, your spiritual life. You really need to be disciplined in everything, especially if you've got a new endeavor that's happening here. You've really got to make sure that you have balance and organization in your life. And if you are bringing somebody in to help you, whether it be a family member that helps you or you're helping them, don't bet the farm. Don't, don't you dare take on their burdens. You have to make sure that there is equivalent exchange. If you do something for them, they've got to do something for you. It cannot be one way. You need self-discipline in order to reap the benefits of this month. And that could be with health, too. But there is, um, as it relates to health, there is a message coming to you um, regarding some type of a creative endeavor, a new procedure, a new um, medication that might be able to help you. 
Um, for some of you, you may have liver cirrhosis. I don't know why I just heard that, but there might be some message as it relates to um, a liver transplant. Um, okay, they're giving me a yes on that. So that might be somebody you love or that might be yourself. Um, so just be aware of that. And you've been waiting a long time to hear this news. Okay, and in order to get this transplant or somebody around you to get this transplant, you've got to purify um, your body so that when this happens, and you've got to be very self-disciplined about it because when this happens, you want to make sure you go in or your loved one goes in to the surgery as strong as possible according to um, your physician's or your surgeon's directions. So what is your spiritual guidance or your archangel guidance? Spiritual understanding. Archangel Raziel, I am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truth. Okay, Librans, for some of you out there, there is something, there are signs and symbols all around you regarding this endeavor. It, it may even be a message that I'm giving to you right now that you are you are to stay the course you are to understand that there is a spiritual aspect to everything that is going on in your life pay attention to messages you know if there's a song that keeps playing over and over like every time you get in your car it's the same song okay there's a lesson there is a message within that song look the song up and read the lyrics, read the words, and does it apply to you? There is a message that's trying to come to you, but you have to be open to receive it, okay? So just be aware of that. So for some of you Librans out there, you are opening the door to a new spiritual understanding. You are opening the door to your spiritual path. So this is really beautiful, but you have to be disciplined about it, okay? Okay, Librans, I hope that you liked that reading. I hope that it resonated with you in some way, shape, or form. I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.